waterfall biologists implanted over 130 GPS transmitters into hen and drake mallards to track late summer movements in North and South Dakota. So several years back, we uh, started seeing a lot more uh, clear late summer movements of birds out of breeding areas and we were getting kind of that same indication from hunters seeing a lot of duck production and then come uh, hunting season the birds just weren't there. Samansky says it's difficult to study ducks in late summer because birds move around a lot yet with the advancements in technology including smaller batteries a study such as this one is possible. We had the ability to pursue a, a GPS transmitter uh, study to, to look at some of the aspects of post-breeding ecology of mallards uh, in late summer and that study design that we use also lends itself to many other uses of the data so we'll be able to uh, work this project angle from many angles and figure out a lot of uh, movement dynamics, migration by dynamics of mallards in the fall. Game and Fish Department Wildlife Veterinarian Dr. Charlie Bonson and Contract Wildlife Veterinarian Dr. Scott Ford perform the surgeries and ensure the ducks were healthy when released. Part of the reason we went with an implant is that when we do that, um, the bird is knocked out much, very much like a procedure, a surgical procedure on a human being. Surgery is done in very short order. South Dakota State University master's student, Cynthia Anker spent time in the field capturing ducks and is also responsible for writing results and managing the GPS data during the two year study. I've actually been pretty surprised by some of the movements we've seen. Uh, we had one bird, for example, that was marked north of Bismarck that moved up to Canada and spent most of the pre-migration period in Canada. We had another bird that left North Dakota, went to Arkansas, and just recently moved to eastern Ohio. Based on this study, mallards use more than 450 different wetlands before their initial migration. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.